assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you all i hope you all are fine my dear students i welcome you back to my channel and today the topic that we are going to study is computer networks so today we are going to learn about the networks first of all let's begin with the introduction you may be wondering what a computer network is so let me tell you a computer network is an interconnection of two or more computers that are able to exchange information actually it means that the two computers or sometimes there are two or more than two computers that are interconnected with each other and why they are interconnected they are interconnected in because we want to exchange information just like just like you have the computer labs in your schools and in uh, in an international firm where many computers are needed and they are interconnected with each other via computer network okay you may think that how the computers can be connected so the computers may be connected via any data communication link like copper wires or radio links as i told you it may be personal computers or large main frames personal computers or pc that are connected with each other via copper wires or sometimes they are linked via radio links okay the computer network may be located in a room building city country or anywhere in the world okay the computer network may be small and it may be large such uh, that it it uh, interconnects the whole world it may be large enough okay computer networks have opened up an entire frontier in the world of computing called the client server model so now someone ask you why the computer networks are very important why they are being used uh, extensively the reason is because they have opened the new doors of computing the world of computing and it is known as client server model so how does the client server model works it simply works in such a way that the client sent request to the serv server and the servers respond to clients so this is the server client model sorry client server model or you can say client uh, server client or client server model okay so what are the advantages of computer network so let's learn some advantages of computer networking number 1 is the sharing software as we know they are connected with each other so we can share many things the first one is the softwares second one is sharing of files we can uh, interchange different files that we need sharing information sharing data sharing hardware and sharing uh, personal information i uh, i think so personal information will not be included in it because personal uh, things are not being uh, sent to everyone so information in general is being shared with computer networks sharing software sharing hardware sharing of files sharing of data sharing of information and the most advantage and the main advantage you can say is the communication we can communicate easily with the help of network next one is information preservation and security the computer networks not only allows us to share information but it also protects our information it only allows to be shared with those pcs or those computers that are connected with that network otherwise Uh, the your information will not be going to leak or some something like that 
it won't happen so your the security and preservation of your preservation of your information is also the advantage of the computer network okay so i hope ke advantages aapko bahut easily samajh aa gaye honge main advantage is communication sharing sharing of data or sharing of information and the third one is uh, in security or you can say information preservation okay main the uh, three advantages are being disc discussed here in this slide first one is file sharing networks offer a quick and easy way to share files directly for example you want to share the files to 100 persons in your link okay so if there are 100 persons and you want to share uh, file it's not possible for you to share uh directly with every person in the group so that will be difficult so aap kya karenge just one time file share karenge and that file will be shared to every single person that is present in that network next one is resource sharing all computers in the network can share resources such as printers fax machines scanners and modems so as i told you earlier bahut sari computers jo hain network mein associate hote hain to hardware aur software bhi share kar sakte hain likewise jo resources hain jaise ki printers fax machines scanners modems ye bhi share kar sakte hain the most important advantage of computer network is communication like those on the network can communicate with each other via email or instant messages now coming towards the flexible access networks allows their user to access files from computers throughout the network and again the main advantage that is the sharing of information computer networks enables us to share data and information with the computers that are located geographically large distance apart not within the same building not within the not only within the same city or the same country but globally we can share information easily again the uses of computer networks are being uh, now we are going to discuss the uses of computer network number 1 is simultaneous access personal communication easier backup and shared peripheral devices uses and advantages are uh, somehow similar to each other so we have discussed all of these in previous slides so now we are going to discuss about the types of network the different types of networks are based on the following on which basis we have categorized the networks so the types of networks are based on the following things number 1 the size of the network number 2 is the connection and number 3 is network topology okay now what does the size of the network means it means it refers to the area over which the network is being spread for example the area of the network is just one institution okay just like the school laboratory or sometimes it may refer to the network of the whole country so the size of the network is the first thing second one is it uh, connection it refers to the transmission media and protocols used for connecting number 3 is network topology it means the arrangement of computers on the network how the computers are being arranged इट मीन्स कि कैसे हम लोगों ने कंप्यूटर्स को कनेक्ट किया हुआ है कैसे उनको अरेंज किया हुआ है सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ साइज दे इट इंक्लूड्स लैन एंड वैन लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क लैन द एब्रीविएशन इज एल एन लैन लैन इज लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क एंड द अदर वन इज metropolitan area network man it is abbreviated as man third one is wide area network wan w a n so let's discuss about the lan what does lan means 
LAN is a computer network and it is wisely used for local communication. LAN connects computers in a small area like a room, building, office or a campus that's may, that may be spread up to a few kilometers. They are privately owned networks to exchange information. As I gave you the example of a school laboratory, computers lab that are present in your schools or colleges. So these are the examples of LAN. And they are, uh, they are limited to the small areas. Okay. Star, bus and ring are some of the common LAN network topologies. So LAN uses star, bus and ring topologies. We are going to discuss the types of topologies in our next lecture inshallah. Um, just you have to keep this thing into your mind that which uh, topology is being used in LAN or which topology is being used by WAN or MAN. Okay. So LAN runs at a speed of 10 Mbps to 100 Mbps and has low delays. A LAN based on Wi-Fi wireless network technology is called wireless local area network. So WLAN means wireless local area network. So that is a wireless network or you can say it is a Wi-Fi wireless network technology. Okay. So it, it is in this picture you can see that there is a main computer and it is all different PCs are uh, connected with that you, uh, main computer and it is you, all of the network users are making use of a single printer and that is a single resource. All the other persons are the network users. So this is an example of local area network and it is located to the small area. Now talking about the Metropolitan Net Area Network MAN. MAN is a computer network spread over a city. It is uh, you can say bigger than LAN but it spreads only over a city. The computers in a MAN are connected using cables. MAN connects several LAN spread over a city. So you can say first of all there is a main computer and many you can say four to five or you can say uh, ten computers are connected to that main uh, main computer and they form a LAN and when different LAN networks are combined they form a MAN metropolitan area network and it spreads over a city it covers up to the distance of 30 to 50 kilometers and the example of cable television network as you know, the cable that allows us to view different channels on the television, it is an example of metropolitan area network. Okay. The central head of uh, central office headquarters and the warehouse means it is a somehow long distance as compared to land up to 30 to 50 kilometers. Now talking about YDGA network, when it is a network that connects computers over long distances like cities, countries, continents or worldwide. As the name indicates when worldwide you can say so it uses public leased or private communication links to spread over long distance. When uses telephone lines, satellite links and radio links to connect. They need to be they need to be able to connect any number of computers or at any number of sites results in van technology to be different from the LAN technology. So uh, many computers are connected and number of persons are using uh, the same they are the part of the same network so it is a bit slower and they are less reliable than a van. So internet is an example of van the Wi-Fi or internet you can say is an example of van. So that's the end of today's lecture. I hope you have uh, got a well understanding of the topic of computer networks. If you find some something that you want to share or something you want to ask, you can ask in the com 
کمنٹس انشاءاللہ شاء اللہ میٹ ان نیکسٹ ویڈیو ٹیک کیئر اللہ حافظ